Good morning. My um, first parlay of the season was unsuccessful thanks to this dude's toes. Not likely to get me money because he's standing out of bounds. When um, when we watched it back, I just picked up my boy JR, who's in town for a while. I picked him up at the airport, so we're kicking it, catching up. I'm like, oh, cool. It's a two-minute drive, end of the game, and Baltimore's coming back. I'm getting my yards from Lamar Jackson. I'm getting my touchdowns almost from Lamar Jackson. I just need Baltimore to win. And back of the end zone, likely catches the ball. Upon further review, toes touching the white. And then say goodbye to my $155 parlay. But you know what? Season is young, and that was only Thursday. So you better believe that uh, actually there's a game tonight, the Brazil game, Green Bay, um, and Philly. So I could put some money on that if I wanted to. And I probably will because I still have money left in my DraftKings account. But, man, tough way to start the betting season. But the football season is back. Really excited for that. Great game. Great way to start the year. Um, Swifties were in attendance. Taylor was in attendance. Chiefs still dominating. Still riding high after back-to-back Super Bowls. Going to make it three? I don't know. It's a long season. And I'm, you know, Patriots ride or die. So uh, we'll, we'll see how the season goes we'll see how that goes this year um uh, uh, look no expectations that's how you gotta go into it just i'm just here for a good time let's get some scores let's let's develop the guys okay just develop drake may see how he does card news y'all probably saw uh jeff wilson had bought that hundred thousand dollar michael jordan star uh rookie star 85 at the national for a hundred thousand just sold it on golden auctions at 244000 So from July to early September, dude's making 144 k on one card, which you could argue is the true Jordan rookie, but it's, hey, whatever. He just, it's good. It's good for people who have that card. And I hope I have that card somewhere, but I don't know. And that was an eight, I think, near mint, PSA eight. Quarter million dollars for a piece of cardboard. Silly. Ellie De La Cruz, Super Fractor, one of one, autoed, 116K, Golden Auctions. Uh, I got to find cards to give to Ken Golden because it's got the Golden Touch. A lot of traffic on those auctions. Card game, card game's hot right now. It's just so hot right now. That's, that's, just, that's just how it goes. So football's back. I am looking forward to the weekend for college football. And in the meantime, I did break some cards myself, some Mosaic NBA, which I just got in yesterday. Um, My first blaster. I pulled two base Wemby rookies in the Mosaic, the Thunder Road and then the number 238 um, Mosaic. So that was uh, was exciting. Not like crazy exciting, but pretty cool. Um, Overall, you know, I got the hits I wanted. Jalen Williams, Brandon Pajemski, rookie, the Santa Clara uh, guys. They have the green parallel. Um, I guess they're refractor inserts. Got a Derek White and the Luka Doncic. It's, uh, It's fun to open. It's 45 bucks a blaster. I think you can probably find it cheaper online but I don't know how quickly you can get it and the shipping may I think actually makes it end up being what price I'm selling it for 45 bucks so that's the thing with the instant gratification of getting to buy something in the convenience is yeah the price might be a little more than online but you don't have to wait and you don't have to pay shipping that's the that's what we do retail that's that's how we do things here um, we're going to have probably a busy weekend. It's the first week at all kids have been back to school. And so I'm thinking that probably to end of day today, this Friday we're recording, and then Saturday going to be some good sales in here. But I'm going to be kicking back watching football. Um, Alabama's playing USF. I think that's a day game Saturday. So have it up here on the big screen. Um, Michigan, Texas. 
some good matchups. Just it's all sports all the time. Couldn't be more excited. I I would say on a business tip, if you're gonna do any kind of business, do something that you really love doing. And I love making videos, but when I got out of that game, I realized that by the end I was so burnt out because I was making videos about making videos. It was getting so meta that all I talked about was, you know, how the sausage is made, quote unquote. And I wasn't getting to talk about topics I really enjoyed. Like now I get to talk about sports and cards and the hobby and selling stuff and business. And I can just focus on that topic instead of just getting so in the weeds on what light did you buy? Like all, the amount of questions I would get about what gear do you need? What camera is that? What's this? What's that? Like I was just so tired of answering those questions. And the questions I want to answer now is what's the best Victor Wembanyama card in the Mosaic 23-24? And it looks like if I'm looking at this right, right here, Mosaic, Wembenyama, Man Can Dream. Let's see what it is. Dang. There's a Ponini, uh, Panini, Mosaic, White Mosaic, Introductions to 25, 10 grand. Or you get the gold glitter, 1 to 5 jersey number, 9,500. Some of these Wembys are just insane. Or you could get the glitter um, SSP. I got the regular card, of course, in a retail blaster. But imagine getting one of those wild cards in a retail blaster. Top's right around the corner. Okay, we're going to be getting hobbies. Then we're going to be getting panini hobbies. Then we're going to be getting upper deck. It's, it's all within my reach. It's like right there. These... Um, this market is it's hot, it's staying hot, even into Wemby's second season. I'm curious to see who's going to be the rookie pull in the new basketball product. And then what do those Caleb Williams football cards look like in the new optic? Football is behind. I know the composite stuff is out, but that's the unlicensed. And it looks pretty good, though. In a couple of years, NFL will have the license back. Um, not NFL will have it, but Tops will have the NFL license back because I think Panini is going to have to be switching over to college because once they lose those licenses, they, they, can't, they can't sell the product. They can, of course, sell an unlicensed product, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, I do. I don't like it. It's not for me. It's just not my, it's not my favorite thing. In other news, uh, y'all have been liking the videos, which is cool. This seems to be working. It's, um, it's forcing me to get some good thoughts out and just have that mind exercise in the morning before I get my day going. And like with any good thing, the consistency of making, if you're a business owner, I'm going to keep saying this, you got to make some kind of content. It might be writing, it might be taking pictures, it might be long form video, it might be short form video, it might be just audio podcast. Carve out time in your day because it's the best free advertising you can have. And I was just talking about this with JR on the ride over here. If you can create an audience, then you have leverage with all these companies that in the past the model was, hey, Dave, you should pay us to, spon to do a sponsorship. No, now it's flipped. It's no, actually, you should be paying me because I have a bigger audience that may not always go to your games or listen to your station or watch your channel. So you can't do that. You don't have the leverage until you have the leverage, until you have the audience. And that's the game that we're playing. And unfortunately, a lot of the salespeople at these bigger companies, they're selling an outdated product. It's not their fault. They just don't have a good product to sell you. Um, so you can do it for vanity and for ego and say, yeah, dude, I got a commercial on TV. I'm on channel six, channel eight, whatever. I have a banner at this, you know, the sea dogs and the stuff I do want to do. Cause I think that long term it's valuable, but I don't think the ROI of somebody going to a sea dogs game and they're going to see that sign and be like, Oh, that's cool. Like, I don't think they're going to come immediately into the shop. I can do more just on my phone and making these YouTube videos to get folks to come into the shop and spend money and hang out and 
see what we're about. So that paradigm's going to have to change. There's going to have to be a shift. Uh, but I think we're close, especially with AI driving everything. I mean, if I wanted to, I could have a whole topics list for this podcast just using ChatGPT, and then I can send these clips through captions.ai or Opus Clip and do very little editing. That Like the next thing on my horizon is I've had overseas editors reaching out saying, hey, for 30 bucks a day, I'll do unlimited edits. Now, I don't know what that means. Everybody's like, oh, unlimited. But you get to some point and they're like, well, I did three edits. I'm like, three is not unlimited. Um, the other side of it, too, is short form, long form. Long form, in a way, is it's an easier edit, but it's a longer uh, wait time of processing, uploading the clip, making sure there's no mistakes. Like, you still need a, a human. You need a person to watch with context and say, did he say something that he didn't want to say? And mostly that's me talking to you right now, filtering my thoughts because I don't want to have to make edits. I don't want to swear because I don't want to have to bleep it out. Like, th there's all these things I'm doing to prevent myself from looking bad. So if I handed this video off to an editor, I wouldn't have to hold their hand through the whole thing. But I think that's on the horizon. My definition of being successful in content is when all I have to do is show up, hit record, film and capture the audio, hit stop, upload a clip to someone, and they just take care of the rest with a few notes from me on what I want for the short form and the long form. And then eventually they're anticipating what I want because we've done it so many times that I have very few notes. That's what success looks like for me in the content world. In the card world, I'll sell this Mickey Mantle, sell this 81 Tops. I got some heat in here. Look, if you want to come in, always please ask me if there's anything in the back because there always is something. I just don't have it out because most people don't want to step up and they just want to get a deal, which I'm cool with. But there's some things that are for sale, not on sale. The Mickey Mantle is for sale, but doesn't mean you're getting a super deal. The price is the price on that thing. Other stuff in here, yeah, we can bundle up and we can, you know, we can make something happen. We can take large percentage points off. So anything, anything is possible. And uh, for the million dollar man, everybody has a price. It's just, it's just the truth. So if you make me an offer, maybe it's one I can't refuse, but you don't know until you ask. Um, which is why you got to come down here to 370 US Route 1. Come hang out. JR is in town. So that's a bonus reason for you to come in. Um, I don't know how long I can keep him here without having to pay him. So get down here soon so I get it on the low. Um, we're going to be in here watching wrestling, chopping it up, catching up. He hasn't been back in town for years, literally, um, for this long. You know, in and out real quick, but... That's a hamburger joint. We don't got time to talk about that. Uh, I think that's that's where we're going to wrap it up today. There was no other big uh, card news except this one last thing. Giannis Antetokounmpo, $1 million bounty out for that triple auto. Curry, Durant, LeBron. It's quite a card. Matty B opened his. He ordered some tops now, and he didn't get any. He ordered six, and none of them were the triple autos. Because he told me, he's like, if I did pull him, we were about to go away on a trip for a while. So I'm here. That's how you know Matt didn't pull it. Um, but once I get tops, I will be ordering those tops now because that's a fun lottery ticket. It is like Willy Wonka more and more every day. People that tell me it's not are lying. Um, it is a fun form of gambling. And, you know, that's kind of what you do if you're ripping stuff or, you know, buying mystery packs or boxes or packs and blasters and hobbies. There's an element of chance, big element of chance. Or you can come in here and we've got all the single cards. Just whoever you want, it's here. You can just get that one card that you want. But I got work to do. I'm sure all of you do as well. We're going to wrap it up. And it looks like somebody's calling me. So I'm going to check this voicemail and not pick it up because if it's important, you're going to leave me a message. If it's really important, just text me. I will call you back. Okay. Another one. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.